Hi there everybody, my name's Captain Zero and welcome to Project Zomboid. Now uh, while the game's loading up, I'll give you a little info on this. Uh, it's a pretty cool game, It's uh, I think it's still in alpha right now, I played it a little while back. Uh, basically it's a, it's a pretty cool little uh, top down 2D uh, survival game. Um, actually a lot of the, the little aspects like the cooking and whatnot were taken from this game to be used in uh, the new DayZ standalone. And, uh, well, this is how I died, apparently. Um, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty open world. Um, takes place in uh, this town that they designed. And I believe this is Kentucky is the one that I, uh, I clicked on. Um, I've played this before. And it was a while back, but I played it before. And I finally got a system that can handle it without you know overheating and just scorching my lap. So... Uh, I'm really interested to see how this game goes when I could play it for more than half an hour at a time or a couple of minutes before everything just completely dies on me. So, uh, character I made, his name is Harold Davis. Uh, I made him a firefighter, so he's got this axe man trait. Uh, there's different traits, different bonuses and weaknesses that you can choose. Um, but, let's see, I don't have any skills right now. Health is 100%. If you get bit, shows you uh, what parts you have bandaged. You actually have to bandage various parts. Everything in this, uh, the time, I think it's every six seconds is ten minutes or something along those lines. So I'm going to go ahead and skip over a little Rocky Raccoon right here and uh, change how big my screen is so I can see a little bit more. So it's basically just point and click and uh, let's see, I'm trying to remember my buttons here. Do -do -do. Uh, let's see. So, there's different things you can take. Um, take a sheet for right now because you can use that. Let's see. What else we got? Anything on the floor? No. All right. So I started out in this little. I think this is a trailer. And uh, you can go through each individual box full of different stuff. Let's see. Uh, baby pan, dry ramen, kitchen knife. Uh, I'm not sure if a kitchen knife can be used as a weapon. Let's see. K kitchen knife. Equip primary. So yeah. So now I've got myself a weapon to fight off the zombies. Nails. I always take nails because you need to build stuff constantly. Do, do butter knife. Uh, lighter, lighter. I don't think I need a lighter in this one. So I'm going to take some bread and some grapes because I'm going to need some food at some point. Do, more nails. Do, and you can you actually have to cook food in this which is a pretty cool feature I've never I never really saw that until this game so let's see I'm unpleasantly hot so I should probably take off the sweater and let's see I don't remember how to attack okay just click so nope Stab a stab, stab a stab. All right, so I'm in minor pain right now. So you have to really pay attention to everything about your character. You know, it gives you all his different moods and stuff. You know, right now I'm terrified. I'm strong panic. So the more zombies I see, the more apt I am to panic, and that actually changes how my guy will. Let's see, can I just... Nope, just gotta smash a window out here. So I actually change how my guy reacts to things. Um, how well he responds. Let's see, do, do, do. Anything good. Mostly what I'm looking for right now is a backpack. That is the one thing that you want to find. And it's usually the hardest one to find. Do, do, do. Check this out. So there's a pretty expansive... Uh, crafting system in the game too um, basically you know you can board up windows you can build walls you can basically build a whole house and uh, you want to start getting into building you know once you've got the basics of the game set up let's see I think this is a motel right here so I'm gonna go ahead and smash that window Climb on in there, climb in, alright, and then I'm going to add a sheet, nope, 
Didn't make it. Oh, she's not dead. She's not dead. Alright, so close curtains. You can actually barricade stuff up. But Oh yeah, and you can uh, garden in this too. Oh. So I'm probably hurting pretty bad right now. I'm not really looking to keep this character for a super long time. Pen. Yeah, nothing good. Let's see. But, uh... Let's see. Wallet. Combo pen. Da -da -da. Big hiking bag. Equip on my back. There we go. So, now I've got myself a backpack and I can really take care of everything. I'm in a lot of pain right now. I don't think... What do beta blockers do? Reduce my panic. Go ahead and take some pills. You can get addicted to this stuff pretty quick. So... Let's check my guy's health out. So I'm scratched. So, what I can do... Is remove these curtains. Go in here. And rip it into bandages. And now bandage my left forearm. Yeah, it's uh, it's a pretty cool idea for a game, and I, I really I like playing around with it. Um, it's definitely something that you got to sit and you got to play it for a long time. I'm not gonna get super deep into it here. I'm just trying to show off some of the basics of it. Let's see. I need water. And I don't see a sink around. You have to manage your thirst. You have to manage your hunger. All in all, it's it's a pretty in-depth game. Let's see. Can I go through garbage cans? Tissue, garbage bag. Do -do -do. Smash the window. And I cut myself. I go ahead and climb in there. Alright, so. Anything in there? Apply bandage, left forearm again. I keep hurting myself. Let's see, I'm anxious. Got some minor injuries. I'm slightly thirsty. I'm in agony. Let's see. Drink some water. And what's cool is as you as you progress through the game, the town will actually change some. Um, I guess they're working on erosion right now, last I heard. But uh the cool things that I've always seen on this are uh, like the power and the water will turn off over time. So that makes life a lot harder. So you've got to do rain collection barrels because you have to worry about the rain in this. Let's see. Smash this window. We're going to check this one out too. Yeah, cut myself again. I really need to find a better way of doing that. Do, 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 do. Just don't want to die while I'm doing this quick little playthrough here. So, and then the other awesome thing is, if you notice, you've just got these ranges of view. So, if I'm facing this way, I can see out this window, but only this spot. And out this window, but only this much. But back here, I can't see really anything. And over here, I have no idea what's going on yet. So, you have to really be paying attention. Kind of stay on edge. And when your guy's hurting, or when it's nighttime and it's raining, and you can't hardly see anything because you're your uh, vision actually gets a little bit reduced by the rain too you know things started getting a little hairy and this game can get a little bit intense for you but uh, I absolutely love it I'm definitely gonna play a lot more of this because they've they've been doing a lot of upgrades to it lately and do paintbrush nothing good okay so I'm just gonna kinda run around show you just how big this world can be before my guy passes out or until it gets to be nighttime. So, got this food market up here. Do I have a map? I don't, no, I don't have a map anymore. You can find maps in this, which is pretty cool. Um, easiest way to do it is have a, uh, a separate map open on the side. Ooh, this door's open. They do have multiplayer in this, last I heard. Which, that could be pretty cool, especially playing with the front. Ooh! Get away from me, lady. Oh, I don't have anything equipped, so I can't do anything to you. Can I stomp you? No. 
Uh, oh, I broke my knife, that's why. Go ahead and close her in there. Alright. So yeah, and see your guy panics, and it'll cost you, you know, when you're trying to hurt somebody. Stuff like that. I'm just going to keep running away from these guys. You can get a pretty huge horde going on behind you too. Especially when you start getting tired and you start getting slower. There's different neighborhoods, different types of houses. I'm starting to get tired, so these zombies are going to catch up real quick. But, uh, you see, as I go through, I mean, houses get bigger and bigger as I go. There's some pretty monster houses. Um, there's a lot of, like, just normal buildings. Um, grocery stores. There's pet clinics and hospitals you can break into. I mean, it's, it's pretty awesome. Uh, some of these places, a lot of these ones that are for sale, if you break in, oh, I can't break in, I don't have any weapons right now, but if you were to break in, you can actually get yourself uh, some pretty cool items in there. The other cool thing, the other awesome thing is these things are uh, set off by both noise and sight, so, can I hop you? I don't remember how to hop over things. Um... So say you uh, you break into one of these places and an alarm goes off, all of these zombies are going to come after you. And there can be a lot of them at one time. And if you don't have a weapon like I don't right now, it gets fun. And uh, as you can see, I'm getting hungry, I'm getting peckish. So my strength's going to keep going down the more hungry I am. I'm uh, high exertion, so I can just barely run right now. So at some point... This character's gonna start walking, and he's gonna start dying. Do, 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 do. What's up over here? Oop, sorry about that, guys. If you got a big pop in your ear right there, that was just me whacking the uh, microphone. But, you see, there's these awesome buildings. There's tons of cool gear in here. You can set up camp just about anywhere. And my guy's freaking out a little bit more every time I run through. But, uh, you got a nice main drag here. Um, there'll be a lot of big stores and buildings and lumber mills and awesome stuff like that all the way along here. Um, and when you set yourself up in certain game modes, you can just keep playing the same map just with a new character. Other game modes, not so much. You, uh, it's just a survival. See how long you can go. Uh, I know when I played it before, the longest I got my character last was something like six months, which is a pretty long time. Now you can see I've got a pretty decent following. I made lots of friends back there. See? Tons of friends. I'm just going to keep leading them along for a little bit while I keep rambling on to you. Now, uh, I bought this game a long time ago from the Steam store. Actually, my friend bought it for me, so I'm not sure how much it costs. But uh, it's definitely worth looking into if you're into the survival horror games. Um, still got a pr pretty decent following there. Um, and if you got some time to kill, because you definitely, you gotta spend some time leveling up your character, uh, building up some resources, and just generally making it easier on yourself in the long run. Um, and this game's all about lasting as long as possible, because I mean, it, just like it said there at the beginning, this is the story of how you died. You're gonna die. Ooh. Let's see, how many more can I get? I'm just going to lead them all this way. Do, do, do. Uh, Spiffo, I don't know if you guys saw that up there. Spiffo is their little uh, uh, mascot -y character for the game. Oh, I'm queasy. As you can see, they get plenty of zombies in here. And I'm going to die really quick here. Look at that. That is awesome. So, it gives you how long you survived, when you've been lasting a really long time and you don't pay attention and get killed, you get really angry. But, uh, anyway guys, this is Project Zomboid, it is an awesome game, it's available on the Steam Store, go ahead and check it out, I love it, I think it's awesome, it's got a lot of cool little quirks to it, and it's definitely come a long way from when it started out, uh, the developers are, are putting in mods. There's a whole Steam workshop of mods that you can do for it. I'm not sure if it's a Steam workshop one or if it's just through the developer's website. Last time I checked, there was just the developers. Um, but
but you know how Steam works. They get that uh, workshop going. You can just start downloading all the mods for it. And they got some really cool ones. Ones that make it a lot more realistic. Ones that make it completely unrealistic. You can really tailor the game to how you want to play. Um, aside from that, two thumbs up from Captain Zero. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. And make sure you are having an awesome day. Bye now.